All right, let's get into our demonstration. Here we are in Microsoft SharePoint. And as I described earlier, uh, the digital automation, the Cloudflow and Power Automate is waiting for a file to be dropped into this library. So let's get started with this. I'm gonna go into a collection of loan approval forms that are awaiting processing. So let's look at loan six. So we can see this is from Richard Parker for a loan amount of $10,000. And this has been requested for education. So if we go back to SharePoint, all we need to do to initiate this process is what a user might be doing anyway. We drag and drop the file into the library. We could just as easily make the trigger, watch an email inbox for the occurrence of messages that have PDF attachments. And we can dial in on which of those messages we really want to kick this off from. So we have all kinds of capability to determine how we want our automations to trigger. So our cloud flow is running behind the scenes and uh, let's go have a look at it. We can see this is a previous run of the flow and I'm just going to walk us through what happened. So this is what happens whenever a file hits that library that we dropped the loan approval into. So we can see that uh, whenever a file is created in this folder, that's the trigger. It's going to run this automation. We get the content of the PDF. And then we move down here and actually take uh, the, the AI uh, and run the AI, I should say, against the content from within this file. So if we have a look at what the AI found, so we can see which AI model we're using. And it is the RPA loan approval AI. This is an AI we created especially for this form. So you have the ability to train your own AIs. And then we get into what the AI found. So we can see that uh, the employer has been identified as Walmart. And it tells us that. Uh, the other interesting part is it actually gives us a confidence score. So it's 99.5% sure that it got that uh, recognition correct, that it found the employer correctly. So this is what happens with all the fields that we've trained in our AI. We get the data and it also gives us a confidence score. If the confidence is low, maybe we want a person to review that. So as the automation continues, we move into the approvals. And I'm going to go over to Microsoft Teams next. And into the activities tab. You can see that I have a number of approvals here. There's actually an approvals app that I'm not showing you within Teams, but there's a really nice experience for folks to see all their approvals in one place. Uh, in this case, I just went over to my activity feed. I can see that the Richard Parker loan approval is sitting here and there's a loan amount of $10,000 for this for education. So it accurately took that information out of the PDF proceeded to put it into an approval. And the approvals engine here is great. We can create some very uh, advanced approval patterns. Maybe we want just one approval out of a group of people. Maybe we want consensus. You decide how you want those approvals to work. The nice thing is uh, I've got it right here um, in my Teams interface. I could also work from the Teams mobile app. Uh, the next thing that's going to happen is uh, the automation is going to continue and there's actually a second approval because this was over five thousand uh, dollars it goes on for a second approval so we can see that in teams but i'm going to go over to outlook because i would like to show you that this actually comes back to my inbox as well here i am in my email inbox so we can see the approval has come in. This is the second approval uh, because this loan was over $5,000. I can do this from my inbox in Outlook if I want. So that looks good to me. And we can submit this from here. Now our Power Automate desktop flow is going to run. And what we're going to see happen is the browser is going to launch our legacy form that we need to enter uh, the loan approvals into. So this is an example of our robotic process automation happening right before us. It's taking the data that was extracted via the AI and it's inputting it into this legacy app um, that we have no way of integrating with. So all this information is input and we even get uh, this loan ID number. Um, so this is a record that's provided to us by our legacy app. But the really great part is if we go back into the automation, what we're going to find is it actually gives us that value, uh, the ID that was created in the legacy app, and we can leverage it back in the cloud flow. 
So we'll find that uh, this is where we're running the desktop automation. And then once it's completed, it sends an email and it actually gives the submitter of that loan the ID. So they now have a record that they can rely on. If they have any issues, uh, they can recall that and get back in touch with uh, uh, whoever it is they need to to understand what's happening with their loan. So uh, this is a really uh, great example, I believe, of, of getting the best of both worlds. We've used the digital automation where we need to. And then when we run into a situation where we need to run a desktop automation to input data uh, into that legacy app, we go into RPA mode uh, and use that capability in Power Automate. We've had a chance to see Power Automate cloud flows uh, and digital automation. Now let's have a look at Power Automate desktop. This is a look at Power Automate Desktop's main screen. We can see that we have a RPA loan approval desktop flow among other desktop flows that we've created. When we go into edit one of these flows, we can see all the steps that we're automating. In this case, the very first action is where we launch the loan form. Uh, we can go through the rest of the actions that we see. And really, this is what we're doing uh, is populating text on fields, press a button on the page. Uh, we can actually record the actions using this app uh, that we, we would like to conduct over and over again with our automation. So they have a recorder uh, that works on Windows or web apps, uh, or we could uh, actually build each of the steps one by one if we wanted to just by dragging the actions uh, that we would like to use right into the designer. So that's a quick look at uh, Power Automate Desktop. So this is the tool that we build our robotic process automations in and it takes care of running them for us. So that covers the demonstration and closes off what we wanted to show in the video. I really hope you found this presentation to be valuable. If you have any questions, uh, please reach out to us. If you go to fidelityfactory.com, there's a contact form. Uh, and if you have any questions about what you've seen, reach out to us there. Uh, thanks again for watching the video.